Hello, I'm Amix Toycat, and this is a video talking about the best loadouts in Call of Duty Ghost Aliens mode, because basically, uh, the loadout is a really, really important part for your playstyle, because it basically determines whether you're going to have, like, armor, or whether you're going to be, you know, playing better. Uh, but if, if basically, if you make it to your playstyle, you can do really, really well. And I figured I'd go with the best loadout, if you just want a really general, really good one. Obviously, you have to change some stuff to play, suit your playstyle, but whatever. Uh, I am level 29, so I've got everything unlocked, and I have played around with everything. I just recently played around with the Death Machine. And I figured I'd get my opinion on everything going through it one by one, because that might help some people out. So anyway, let's go right into it. So uh, first of all, the class. So the class is the simplest one, but basically um, for solo, which is what I'm going to be talking about for the rest of this, by the way, uh, this is a solo class because with uh, co-op, you really get a bit more messy. Uh, but for solo, it really doesn't take a genius to work out the, the bullet damage and the faster handling and stuff. Uh, it really makes a lot more sense because one, you don't have allies. Uh, two, the health isn't, it's not crazy important. Like it is nice, but I, I really think having the more bullet damage is going to help you out a lot more if you're solo. That's just me type of person. I use stopping power, not juggernaut, but you know, that's just me. And uh, having the engineer, it would be nice, but I really, really do just prefer weapon specialists. So that's just me. Uh, and yeah, that's that. So second of all, the pistol type. So uh, the four pistols, basically, the simplest way to put it is they go uh, in ascending order of greatness, like in terms of how good they are. Uh, the MP4... Three, three, three. Uh, sorry, four, four, three is a really, really nice full auto pistol. Has 15 in a clip, so you really do waste it all quickly. But it is, it, it's, it's a fast killer. It kills in four to five shots up close. Uh, a little bit more at distance, obviously. But it's, it's nice, so I like it. Uh, the M M981 is a burst fire pistol. Uh, obviously, unlike multiplayer, though, as well as this. Uh, and it's a pretty nice pistol. It's kind of like a Rafika in how it fires, and it. It really is the, a really good alternative. You might prefer it to the uh, Grotch, but I really do like the full auto spray. Uh, that's just me. That could fit for you. So, uh, finally, we have the P9266, which is the default one. This is the best one if you don't have access to these two, because uh, the Magnum is garbage. It has, it has a really slow fire rate. It's not crazy damage. Like, it has a higher damage, but not crazy, crazy damage. And even if you have it Kimbo, it just doesn't work that well. I don't like it at all. Uh, it's it, Obviously, a Kimbo, it would make a nice enough shotgun, but... Just one of these two are the ones you want to be using, regardless of situation. Uh, so finally, we have ammo types. So again, for solo, it doesn't really take a genius to work out you want this one, because one, it takes less points to get up to, like you use two points, and it goes all the way up to max. Uh, even if you go up four points in all of these, you only get 70%, which I guess 70% stun ammo is better, but it's still, you have to use it more, you have to spend more money on it, and it just, it's not crazy good. Uh, I haven't found use for any of these. I tried to put them on a few games each, but um, regular ammo, it just works. It, it, it's what you want your gun to have it's it's nice so team support uh the th fourth bit which i guess isn't team support in solo but whatever uh these are the packages you put down uh I have found, uh, I haven't actually used that much of random supplies, so they could be crazy good at their levels. Uh, but what I have found is that the armor is ridiculously good, and it helps you out so much, because it's basically just health you can just put down for yourself. Uh, so if you're in a tricky situation, throw health down for yourself. It saves you, you know, saves you quite a lot. Uh, having the fast weapon handling, it's nice, but it's not going to save you as much as, uh, obviously, the armor. Also, this is similar to Cranked. It's kind of funny in the way it works. Uh, Feral Instincts is nice. It's nice to have in multiplayer, because it means you can see stuff, like, you know, the scorpions are attacking the thing uh, but I find armor is just so 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 useful so definitely stick to armor uh, team explosives uh, fully upgraded is pretty nice but again not for solo and uh, yeah that's definitely the one you want to be using so for as far as uh, strike package goes uh, there are three good options although one of them I I, I don't like it that much but uh, the, the three valid options basically are the IMS the sentry gun and the vulture if you wonder why I don't like the mortar strike and the trinity it's because they don't do much damage the trinity actually takes you out of the action will get you killed uh, they can't be used to save you and they can't protect an area they're just you know there's lots of enemies let's kill them uh, which is kind of cool but in solo you really want to defend an area. So first use the IMS. It's great. It defends an area really well. It has ridiculously high power explosives. Uh, when you unlock the sentry gun, you might want to upgrade to that. It costs 2,000, so it's worth bearing in mind. And then we have the uh, Vulture, which will follow you around. So I prefer the sentry gun because I like to sell it down and let it cover an area while I go somewhere. Uh, you know, cover the drill, for instance. But Vulture could be something you like more because it is kind of good when you upgrade it. But, you know, that's personal preference. Also, the Vulture costs 2,200. Really, really expensive. So bear this in mind. Um, and finally, the equalizer. Uh, so the tip for this is uh, just based on playing style, and I would pretty much agree with that. Uh, but one thing I will say is, regardless of your playing style, the grenade turret is never going to be useful. Uh, it has such a slow cooldown, uh, and it just... Uh 
It, I, I don't find it useful at all. Uh, the regular portable minigun turret, still not useful at all. You can get a little bit of use out of it sometimes, but you're better off using the turrets around the map. Like, there's not much... The Most of the pl good places you need a turret, they're covered on the map, they're cheaper, and they don't waste one of your equalizer points. Uh, so the things I would recommend, crowd control. It's nice, you put it on your back and it covers you a little bit. Uh, I've been trying to use this more. This is the type of thing that fits my player style, uh, but I just haven't really been using it that much, so that's probably why. Uh, but it has uh, 25 hits, apparently, when you fully upgrade it, which is kind of nice. I guess. Uh, I haven't, it hasn't actually defended me that much. I pulled it out when I was about to die and I still died. So my, I, I don't know. I just, I've been scarred since then. I don't really use it that much anymore. But it's 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 a good enough shield. Uh, then the MK32 and the Death Machine. Uh, pretty much interchangeable in the same way these two things are. MK32, really nice. Uh, but kind of expensive and only has six in it. So it's it's, it's the same type deal as the grenade turret. But it's, you know, it's a weapon. Uh, and the Death Machine, this is one I can get behind. It really damages the hive. Uh, the hive, uh, like, you know, between each... Uh, area. Uh, it's really, really useful for that, so it's definitely worth pulling out. It can be worth pulling out if you're in a tricky situation. Uh, the right shield is also good for that. And I just think it's a really, really good thing in general, so I would probably recommend this, if not the right shield. Uh, the MK-32 is a close third, though. Uh, so yeah, this is the best class you can make for yourself in... Uh, Sorry, Aliens Extinction Mode. Uh, you need to be level 29 for this and uh, 28 for the Vulture. So you need to level yourself up a fair amount. Uh, I'm going to be prestiging tomorrow, so I'll be doing a video on that. So be sure to check that out. I hope this uh, loadout video has helped you make a class around your needs. Because I've played around with everything. Hopefully something helped you in there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. And goodbye.